Question two is a sequences question, and it's really the good and the evil as far as I can tell, because this first question, question A, is extremely easy as far as I can see, and B is uh, quite counterintuitive um, from my point of view, but but I can show you how to answer both of them. So we get this uh, this sequence defined here, you'll have seen this before, so the the next one in the sequence is 6 plus 2 over 5 of the current one in the sequence. So just the next one and this is the current one here. So the first term in the sequence is u1, so the first term is number 2. So we can write that in there. Let's have find the value of u2 and u3, that's, that's what it wants us to do. So we're going to have u of 2 is going to be equal to the second one in the sequence is going to be 6 plus 2 fifths of our u1, u1 which is 2, so times by 2 there. So if we do that we get this will be uh, 4 over 5 plus 6 is going to be 6.8, 6.8 there. And then let's have another color and do u3. So u3 again we're just going to take, take what we got for u2 and put it in into into this part here, which is this part here. I'm sure you can follow that. So do exactly the same thing again. Six plus two fifths times by six point eight, and that is equal to what was that equal to eight point seven two, if I'm not mistaken. So that's the, that's the kind of the easy part. I, as long as you understand kind of what you're doing. It's very easy to just plug numbers into a calculator and go from there. So let's move on to question B, which I think is quite quite counterintuitive. But nevertheless, it says the limit of u of n as n tends to infinity. So as this thing gets as high as infinity, the limit is L. So it tells you the limit is L. Write down an equation for L and hence find the value of L. So to me, that doesn't make any sense because in core two you haven't done limits yet. You do that when you, if you do university maths. So what is what is trying to tell you is take this as large as you can go and take this as large as you can go and put them in an equation together and call that large number L. So you could call it infinity, but we'll call it L. So L is going to be equal to six plus. 2 over 5 times by L and then just find out what L is. That, that's what it wants you to do really. This is this is our equation for L and then the value for L is what we're going to do what we're going to do now. So if we if we take away 2 fifths of L from each side then we're going to get 0 0.6 L is equal to it's going to be equal to 6 Yes, that's right. And then our final step is going to be divide both sides by 0 0.6. So we'll get L as being equal to 10. So I can't explain that for you without going into the into the university mathematics of limits and so on, but this is what it wants you to do. It wants you to put L as, as this one, as our next in the sequence, and as the current one in the sequence, and solve for L. So that is our sequences question. See you on the next one.